Hello and welcome back. Today I've got another £200 worth of 10Ps and my little brother is along to help as well. So we're looking for the alphabet 10Ps. We move these out of the way and show you the book. So that's the book we're trying to fill up. So we got A for Angel of the North, L for Loch Ness, J for Jubilee, P for Postbox and that's it. Um, those are the ones that the Patrick has found. He's found all of the alphabet 10Ps um, in the last few videos. I only found two but he's found two so fingers crossed. Today is going to be my day. So, which bag do you want? My bag. Or that bag? This bag. Well then, right, let's get into these bags. So let's jump into the questions. So the first question comes from It's Murray, uh, who asks, what tips would you have for someone just starting coin collecting? So again, I get this question uh, an awful lot. Um, all I would say is tell as many people as you can that you collect coins, your family, your friends. Um, if you're in shops and uh, you can change, ask, just say if you've got any commemorative ones, one pictures on it because you collect them. Um, again, if you can if you can take coins out of the bank like I do, then that's that's an amazing way to keep uh, searching. So you can take it out of one bank, pay it into another. Obviously, don't pay straight back into the same bank because that'll annoy the staff and you might end up with getting the same coins over and over again. But a lot of people on the Discord, a lot of people in the comments take out as little as like £10 and still hunt them and still find things. So, um, and also, uh, d uh, don't give up, just keep looking. The only way you'll never find a Kew Gardens is never to look. Uh, Trish Cooking asks, do you have any advice on the best coins to collect? Um, not really. It's a very subjective sort of um uh, thing that is whatever you whatever your favorites if you if you like i don't know date run it a date runs of one piece then sure go for it um i mean if it's if it's a budgeting thing the 10 p's are good ones to go for because obviously it's not as much to keep what uh, keep 10 p if you find one of the uh, alphabet 10 p's but they are quite um elusive to find um so yeah the 50 p's are a good start two pounds can they can add up to quite a bit on a, on a weekly basis if you're hunting weekly so stick within your budget keep hunting don't give up um exile creepy pasta asks what coins do you prefer hunting i actually really enjoy the 10p hunts um i haven't had much much success and it seems to be only patrick that gets success in my videos but they just look so amazing and, and because i think it's because they're so scarce when i do find one that feeling of finding it is is um so much more than it would be if it was like i don't know the 50 piece i find loads of i don't know benjamin bunnies for instance so um yeah i guess that i guess the 10 piece but the 50 piece I, I do like finding to the, the like olympic 50 piece or the rarer 50 piece um my two pounds were always my favorite but i seem to be finding less and less of the really good ones of them at the moment uh sarah shepherd asks what got you into coin collecting again another question i get asked a lot so um i'm just i've always been a bit of a collector collecting um I don't know, things like, uh, I've collected loads of Star Wars stuff since I was a kid. I don't think I've ever thrown anything Star Wars away. Uh, even like a broken wall clock from the Phantom Menace with um, I think Darth Maul, Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan in it. Uh, it hasn't worked for years, but I can't bear to part with it. Um, I was I, I inherited uh, some stamps from um, my nan's late husband. She was just going to chuck them all away, and there was a whole bunch of worldwide coins as well. And instead of chucking them away... I said that I'd have them and that got me sort of collecting stamps um, and then it just progressed into coins I guess. Uh, Chris Carroll asks, do you collect the Gibraltar coins? Uh, yes, I do. If I find them, I put them aside and keep them. Uh, I don't find an awful lot on the mainland UK, but um, yeah, I, I do keep the, all the ones that I get separately. Samira Azim asks, if your house was on fire and you could only grab one coin, what would it be? Hmm. I guess it's sensible to grab the most expensive one. Uh, so a Q Gardens, maybe my second Q Gardens, because that was just an amazing, if you haven't seen the video for that, go check that out, because the, the hunt for that coin was amazing. I got so many good finds. So it's sort of a very special coin to me. Uh, John Moat asks, what's the oldest collectible coin you've ever found? So my worldwide hunts, which I upload on Sundays, um, in the current bag I'm going through, we found some, I think it's 1823 was the earliest we got, which is just absolutely mind bogglingly old. Um, so just to think of all the hands that might have passed through uh, before getting into my bag and then onto my videos, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I've got two questions from Diane123. The first is, apart from coins, what was the first thing you collected and how old were you? Uh, so I have very vivid memories as a child. Instead of getting pocket money, my dad would come back on a Friday after work with um, a Star Wars card-backed card um, uh, figurine. Um, uh, being 
kids, my brother and I, we, we'd, we'd always both get one each. Um, and uh, being kids, we, we took them out, we played with them, we lost the, we, we lost the weapons. But again, I've still got them somewhere in a bag somewhere. Um, but that must have been uh, I don't know, early primary school. I don't know how old you are then. Um, so yeah, that was the first thing I remember collecting. But there was more to play uh, with, with them than anything else. Um, but I've always been a bit of hoarder. I don't like throwing things away. <laughs> Uh, second question is did your parents collect things when you were young so my mum and dad when they were together collected the uh these little um is it porcelain no it's not porcelain it's like um i don't know uh little um bramley hedge mice i don't know i don't know if any of you will know what they are if you don't just go google them it's a whole bunch of these little mice and they're all in different poses there's different mice and there's different things and all those all this sort of gubbins you can get like i don't know sideboards and um i think it was because they got they had a mr and mrs Bevel, uh, bramley hedge ma- uh, mice uh, wedding cake toppers with a little uh, wedding parasol up above them and then again my dad's similar mind to me once you get one thing you've got to get them all so i think he's still got all of them as well but he's always been a massive collector uh he collects uh corvette uh, um, the to- co- uh, toy corvette cars so we always had loads of cars when we were kids because he'd always he'd always buy these little boxes and there'd be one corvette in it we get them my brother and i would get the rest um but he collects the coins as well he collects the um uh, the album set the the ones i'm not made for circulation and also uh first day covers as well from time to time but yeah he's the collector my mum's my not though Natamac asks, do you collect anything other than coins? Uh, yep, so I collect stamps. Um, that's what this channel was originally going to be, stamps, but no one wanted to watch it. So um, it, went, it went dormant for absolutely ages. And then in February, I think it was, I started uploading, was it April? I think it was April, I started uploading coin videos. Um, but I like, oh, anything Star Wars is, is, is my cup of tea. Um, I quite like I quite like Star Wars Pez dispensers, um, but I won't buy them on eBay. I won't go on eBay to buy them. Um, I have to find them in shops um, to, to, before for me to buy them. If that makes sense, it's, it's, I guess yeah, I could go on eBay and I could buy a hundred of them and then have them uh, in my collection. But then that takes the fun out of finding them. If that makes sense. So like I really really want a Kylo Ren Pez dispenser. I just think it would look really awesome. Um, and I haven't found one in the shop, but I could go on eBay. I could buy one now. Uh, but that, then when I find one in the shop, I think, ah, oh, I've already got that one. And it wouldn't be that amazing. Oh my God, I finally found it. But other than that, I've got um, there's some Gentle Giant Star Wars mini busts. And they're absolutely phenomenal. I think I've got all Imperials apart from Admiral Akbar. Uh, I think he was the first one I bought, but the rest are all sort of Imperial officers. Um, and I think they're absolutely amazing. And I love them. Uh, Didar Rahman asks, why did you stop selling your excess coins? So for those of you that are new, I did used to in the very early days of my channel, that was the whole plan was to search through the coins, find ones worth more than face value and then sell them on eBay. Uh, but after eBay took its fees, after the uh, after postage, after packing, after all the time I would spend doing that and then the odd time I would get people that say I didn't receive them when I know they did receive them. Um, it really wasn't worth the effort and the time I was putting into it, but by that point uh, loads of you guys were subscribing and watching the videos that was getting traction so I started keeping them rather than selling them. Um, and that's the reason why I stopped selling my excess coins. Mikey V asks, what coin is it that's still eluding you? Do you want the most? Um, I, well, I, I found all of the two pounds and all of the 50 P's. Um, I filled up the books once, not including 2018 ones though, because we haven't, had, I haven't come across uh, them yet. But um, I don't know. I think I'd like to have more Isaac Newtons. It's my favourite 50p. Um, I've only got I got two in the I've got have I got two in the books? No, I've got one in one book. I'm still looking for it in another, and I've got three spares or something. So I haven't got many of them, um, but I guess that's one I'd like to see more of. And Frankenstein, I would love if they, I tell you if, if Frankenstein is an NIFC, I'll be gutted because I would be so looking forward to finding that in my change. Um, two questions from Can we get 100k subscribers? The first question is, what was the first coin you kept for your collection? Oh, I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at my first video. I, it might even have been the Sir Isaac Newton. I remember getting a load of them uh, early on. But um, in terms of first coin I collected was probably um, a WWF 50 I remember collecting a whole bunch of them and spending them on sweets as a kid. 
Your second question was, are Benjamin Bunnies trying to take over the world? Um, I think they are. Well, they are the highest minted commemorative 50p in circulation at the moment. There's 25 million of them, um, which is absolutely crazy. So, uh, yeah, I think they are. They're at least trying to take over my channel. <laughs> Um, next question from the Chrissy B. If you can make a new denomination of UK coin, what would it be? Um, so I said before that 99p coin would make sense. The amount of things at 99p. Um, but I'd like to see a £5 coin. I don't see why we can't have a £10 coin. Because um, as long as they've got good designs, neat designs, I'd be well up for that. Sam White asks, does your bank think you're crazy? I think most people think I'm crazy. <laughs> um, no, not at all. I've explained what, what I do, um, uh, why I want the coins. So um, it makes sense. It'd be more suspicious if I wasn't telling them. I was just paying in and out, in and out, in and out every week, which would, be, which would ring some alarm bells. But um, no, I don't think they're crazy. They don't think I'm crazy. They think I'm ex eccentric, maybe a bit weird. But everyone's got their own ex eccentricities. We're all weird in our own little ways. Uh, Jim Woolard asks, what's your most valuable coin? Um, that would be, that's, well, it'll be Kew Gardens again, um, because they're what, is it 85 to 100 pounds, that sort of, that sort of price band, um, but I'm not, I've got two of them now, so, um, yeah, that, that's my most expensive, my most valuable coin. John Bentley asks, is there advantage to having the right high street bank? So again, this gets asked an awful lot, which bank should I use, what bank should I go to? It's very difficult to say because, um, I've heard of one bank... Um, in, in, so one branch of a bank in a town will let you take out, will let someone take out loads of coins, and then the same bank but a different branch in another town won't let them do it. So it's all de it's all dependent on your high street bank's um, facilities, I guess, their footfall, um, whether they have a lot of change, whether they can order in the change. And the only way to find out is to ask. Uh, and if they, if your bank, if your bank can't do it, my advice is go up and down the high street and pop into every bank and explain you want to take out you want to take out regular coins because you're a coin collector is it something you can do that if you open an account there they'd be able to facilitate and if they can open an account there uh beanie three asks if they did if they did specifically design pound notes and you could make a set what would it be Ooh, that's a good one so I, I, I I'd quite like a one pound note now that we can have polymer notes they're much more durable i don't see why we can't have a one pound note um, although the, the, the pushback on that is, is always, um, well, you can't get a lot for a pound. What's the point in having a one pound note? Um, but a nice set to have on the pound notes. Um, crumbs, I don't know. Maybe, I, I keep talking about like on the coins, it'd be nice to have some Mr. Men coins. Um, maybe Mr. Mr. Men one pound notes would be quite cool, wouldn't they? Um, but a whole set of them, yeah, I don't know, I can't, I can't think, I can't think, <laughs> just as long as it's a, a varied set where there's lots of different ones to collect, I'd be well up for that. Les Clayton asks, do you ever get sick of people that only collect to sell on and make a profit? Um, oh, it, it doesn't phase me an awful lot, if I'm honest. Um, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can hardly get on my pedestal having just said that originally I started uh, looking through coins, sifting through coins in order to sell them and make a profit. Um, but there are, there, I guess they, they fill a they fill a marketplace there. So it's people that can't um, get coins regularly to search through, people that want to collect but don't have the time, maybe. Um, and so if that helps them in their way in their way of collecting, I don't see that too much of a problem. What does annoy me is when people uh, get these coins and they put them up for eBay for really stupid prices. Because not only a if someone does believe that and buy it, then that's not good for them. Um, and also, it's, it, it then gets into the newspapers, and the newspapers say, oh my god, Benjamin Bunny's worth £500. It's sort of like, I wish, because I'd be retired by now, I'd be on a beach in the Bahamas by now. But um, th that's what annoys me, because then, as, a, as coin collectors, I'm sure many of you uh, know, when your relatives then get that Benjamin Bunny, get that um, and the Battle of Britain 50p coin and show you and said this is worth hundreds of pounds and you're the one that has to say it's not I'm really sorry but it's really it's really not and I get that a lot on the videos as well um, and if I feel bad telling someone that I know I'm really sorry you're not going to go on holiday uh, with that Benjamin Bunny 50p sorry but moving on Brian Morgan asks how do I find face value of each coin um, well face value is just the amount that the coin is so the face value of 50p is 50p face value of a pound is a pound uh face value of a five pound note is five pounds 
Um, I think if you mean, if you how do you find the value of each coin? So the, what I do, I look on eBay, I filter by auctions only, I completely just ignore the buy it nows because they're stupid. Um, so filter by by auction auctions only, um, then uh, filter sold auctions, not just completed because it can complete and not sell, but finished auctions, uh, sold or sold auctions, and then I just filter by the most recent first, and I'll scroll through the first fifty or so and just take a sort of average of that. Um, but it can vary quite a lot. I've, so like suffragettes recently. When I've got one, I have one of them. I've had a look on on eBay at that, and I saw one that sold for five pound fifty. I've seen others that sell for ninety p. So I just put nine, uh, a pound or whatever a pound to five pound fifty, whatever it happened to have been. Uh, Baza Moore asks, "What's your best coin, and what would it go for?" <laughs> so th three questions. We've got the same answer today. Q Gardens. I think it's about eighty-five to hundred pounds on a good day. Randy Johnson asks, "Are you thinking about foreign coins more now that you are doing these videos?" Uh, yeah, totally. Um, I, I'm enjoying it a lot more with this bag as well because we're getting much more of a variety of coins, whereas the previous bag we were getting a lot of sort of more modern, um, withdrawn French uh, centimes, centimes than we were getting now. But in this bag, especially the old ones, I really like finding the really old coins because they're just so awesome. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, I guess I'm thinking more about foreign coins now. Uh, but I probably wouldn't do more than one video a week because out of all the videos I've produced, that 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 that, um, that video does take the longest to edit and put together. Whereas a I don't know 50p hunt takes 25 minutes to record, uh, maybe half an hour to edit, um, and then it's just rendering and uploading, which I can set it going and w and wander off. Whereas the foreign coin hunt, it's uh, about 20 minutes to record and about three to four hours to edit getting all the annotations, going on new mister, finding the mint mint values, and then if you get a, if I get a coin that's got Arabic writing, Chinese writing, Japanese writing on it, then it's figuring all that out, then having to discern what the actual year on it is, which is a real pain, but uh, it's really interesting to find out at the end of it. And I do keep meaning to eventually go back onto new mister and log all the coins that I've got, because uh, I think that would be quite cool. Uh, next question comes from Poppy Blossom. What would you say is the best thing about collecting coins? Um, best thing about collecting circulated coins is if you ever get to a position where you need the cash, you can always pay them back into the bank and spend them. Uh, so I'm not. So it's not like, so take for instance uh, stamp collecting. I could buy a hundred pound stamp, a stamp worth for a hundred pounds, and then if I run out of money, I can't. I don't know. Go buy my shopping with that stamp. Whereas if I ever run out of money, I've got oodles and noodles of fifty p's and two pound coins or pound coins things like that that i can readily cash in maybe not <laughs> i wouldn't i would want to I'd, I'd want to sell the sell the ones that are more than face value but worst comes to worst i could cash it in and spend it so i'm not losing any money um by collecting coins uh, that's what i that's, that's logically thinking that's the best thing about it but um i also quite like that there are there are new ones brought out every year there's always something new to look for but it's we're not overwhelmed so like with stamps there is an overwhelming amount of stamps that come out on a yearly basis um, so um, that's why I like collecting coins and also they look awesome <gasps> no 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 oh my god <laughs> is, that, is that eggs and English breakfast yes <laughs> you are the jammiest person <laughs> I've ever known. Oh, I saw it in the pile, and I thought it was gonna be a territory. Ah, uh, that is such a stunning coin. Oh dear. Well, let's get the picture in the back for the thumbnail. <laughs> God, am I ever gonna find one of these ever again? <laughs> you got, you know, with this one, you'll have more in that book than I have found. <laughs> Welcome to Patrick Collects. <laughs> Unbelievable. But what a stunning coin. Is this one in the fish and chips is my absolute favourite. Man. Man. Right, I've still got the remnants of my last bag. I need to pull a doozy out of there to... You get an L. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, I'm never going to pronounce this right. Conlode Doran asks, Do I have to notify my bank in advance? You don't have to, but... Um... Chances are, if you, so for instance, if I was to walk into my bank and just expect them to have, I know I take out what twelve hundred pounds a week to, to sort of hunt through, 
Um, if I was just rocking up and they didn't have them, then I would be uh, in a bit of a predicament because I'd had no videos to make. So uh, I, I would always, it's, and it's polite as well because they can, they know you're coming in, they know you're coming to do that. Uh, I will also mention, um, go into more detail, uh, when I say take out £1,200 a week, it is effectively the same money every week. I don't, <laughs> it's not like I'm spending £1,200 a week on coins. I take out of one bank, I keep the, the ones I want, maybe £5 worth of coins, £10 worth of coins, and the rest goes back into another bank, and then I transfer it back over to the original bank. So it's the same money, just re it's the same um, yeah, it's the same money recycled. It's just different coins. If that makes sense, I don't want a lot of people in the comments going, "Oh, you spend this much money, you've got so much money." It's it's, it's really not. Um, again, same question from the same person. What is the best way to clean your coins? Now, um, I've never cleaned a coin just because um, I've always been. Well, it, it does devalue the coin, um, so I wouldn't do it. But if it's a coin. So again, on the Discord, there was someone that was making a craft table using foreign coins and was cleaning them because they wasn't they weren't going to be in a collection. They weren't going to be sold on. They were just going to be cleaned up and then stuck onto to, to make a surface, which I think I think looked up, sounds like it's going to be awesome. But um, I think they were using oven cleaner, oven hob cleaner or something. But I've heard white vinegar. Everyone's heard of the putting copper coins in is it copper coins in Coca Cola. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're if you're if you've got them in your collection, I wouldn't clean them if I was you. But it's entirely up to you. Uh, X P N C T O X P N C T O B. Oh, sorry. So that's, that was a. <laughs> so that was a. It was in Russian. I think it's Russian lettering. I might be wrong on that, and I apologise if I if, if I am wrong. But that's what the characters look like. It's sort of the English alphabet. Um, and this will be the last question. Do you collect coins from around the world or ancient coins? So yeah, I collect coins from around the world. I've got um, quite a lot, actually. I do have a little um, Excel spreadsheet with them all noted on there, what I've got. Um, and it's quite a few hundred of them now. But and I, as, as I said, I upload them on a Sunday. Um, but ancient coins, I don't have any ancient coins unless you call, I don't know, 1800 coins from the 1800s ancient but i don't have any sort of roman coins hammered coins those kind of things um but again i don't I'm not quite sure how i would get my hands on a steady flow with them either so i don't know i've, I've always liked someone suggested buying bags of i know dirty roman coins and then cleaning the mud off of them and uh, collecting them that way but i don't know maybe in the future um you never know so uh with that we'll get back to the coins so that's 200 pounds gone through so again um i can't find any of these alphabet ones but it's a good job i got patrick so say a word on in the comments of Pat patrick for finding the e for english breakfast but we're going to go through and have a look through the lines to see if there's any of the key dates in there so we had a look through there was no key dates but we did find this it's a 10 pence but it looks a bit coppery i don't know whether someone's painted over it because you can see the silver coming through here. But I'm not sure. What do you guys think in the comments? Let me know. So, just to sum up, this is my only find. Little tuna fish. Which is pretty cool. And Patrick got a Gib Gibraltarian. I've been told it's called. 10 pence. 2015. I can't remember what that bird's called, it's not a dove, it's a partridge, maybe, pass, another one from Gibraltar, Hungarian, 10 foreign, and of course, the letter E, unbelievably, he's going to be banned. <laughs> So, let's get that one into the book. There we go. So, two on that page, two on that page, one on that page, none on that page. So for those of you that made it this far in the video, you may be interested to know I do have a Discord server. You can come and join that, share pictures of uh, your favourite coins or your coin finds of the day or the month. Um, and it's the best place to come and talk to me. If not, I do have now a PO box. The uh, information is down in the description, so you could write to me on that as well. Um, but all that leads to do is thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.